Hey guys, this is Dan Seifert from MobileBurn.com, and what I've got here is the Samsung Exhibit 4G for T-Mobile. Uh, the Exhibit 4G is a mid-range Android device from uh, Samsung, but it's got a lot of specs that would have been top of the line just about a year ago. So let's take a quick look at it. For starters, you've got a 3.5 inch uh, LCD screen with a WVGA resolution, so it's 480 by 800 pixels of resolution. And because it's a 3.5 inch screen instead of the uh, larger ones that we're seeing nowadays, 4.3 or even 4.5 inches, the pixels are much uh, denser and tighter. Um, and it offers a much crisper uh, look on the screen because there's uh, more pixels packed into a smaller area. Uh, elsewhere on the front, you've got kind of an interesting layout here of your standard Android buttons. You've got three capacitive buttons for menu, back, and search. And then you've got a single uh, home button, uh, which is an actual physical hardware button. It does not act as an optical touchpad. It is just a button, so it clicks in to um, go to your home screen. Uh, and, of course, if you hold it, you can bring up the um, m uh, recent applications list. But uh, it does not work as an optical trackpad, as we, you might, might think from the looks of it. Below that, you've got kind of an interesting chin here. Um, this chin, is, it's got like a textured bottom. It almost is reminiscent of uh, Nokia Symbian devices in its design, but there's your um, microphone port right there. Up top, if we take a look, you can see you've got your earpiece and a VGA front-facing camera, as well as some light sensors there. Uh, there's no notification light with this particular model, but that's kind of typical with most Samsung handsets. If we take a look at the side of the Exhibit 4G, you can see it's got a fairly slim profile. It's about 11.7 millimeters thick, so it's not the thinnest phone on the market, but certainly it's not the thickest either. Here we've got the volume up and down rockers, and then you've got a micro SD card slot uh, port here. So the micro SD card is accessible from outside the phone. You don't have to go underneath the battery cover to grab it. T-Mobile's included a 4 gigabyte micro SD card out of the box here with this one, but it does support up to 32 gigabytes. Uh, 32 gigabyte cards, excuse me. If we take a look at the top of the phone, you've got uh, your 3.5 millimeter headphone jack and then a micro USB port underneath this protective flap here. Uh, it doesn't have the sliding door cover that we've seen on uh, uh, Galaxy S um, models from Samsung. It is a, a traditional uh, plastic flap here, which more often than not is annoying. On the other side of the device, you've got a power sleep unlock key and nothing much else. If we take a look at the back of the phone, this particular model is the black version. There is also a purple version available. Uh, but this one, it's got a nice soft touch rubber coating on it. So it's a nice grip in the hand. It doesn't, doesn't feel too slippery. gives you something to hold on to at least. Uh, you've got your speaker there. And then towards the top, you've got a 3 megapixel camera that autofocuses. And it con uh, has an LED flash as well. And the camera records 720p, or excuse me, 480p video. So it does not record 720p HD. If we pop open the battery cover itself, we can take a look at the battery underneath. And it is a 1500 milliamp battery uh, provided with this. That, uh, Samsung and T-Mobile says you should be able to get about uh, six hours of talk time. Excuse me there. Six hours of talk time and almost 15 days of standby uh, with the Exhibit 4G. Now the Exhibit 4G has got a pretty solid build quality for uh, a mid-range or almost entry-level phone. Uh, it's very light, as Samsung phones tend to be. It's about 119 grams, um, but it still feels well, to, well put together. There's no cracks or seams or um, light leaks anywhere on it. And it just feels nice in the hand, thanks to the uh, rubber coating on the back. Now, the Exhibit 4G is powered by a 1 GHz Samsung uh, Hummingbird processor. So it's the same processor that debuted last year with the Galaxy S line of phones. So it's just as fast in this application as it was back then. Uh, it is running Android 2.3 Gingerbread, and it does have Samsung's uh, TouchWiz uh, custom UI on it, as you can see here. You've got some uh, a custom launcher here. Samsung's got uh, its toggle switches in the notification bar like other uh, TouchWiz uh, phones have. Um, but it's a little bit different. It doesn't have as many customizations as some of the other higher-end phones have. Uh, for starters, you only have five home screens uh, by default, uh, but it does feature the uh, pinch-to-zoom helicopter view, so you can access your home screens and rearrange them, and you can add more if you wanted to. I believe you can add up to seven uh, total home screens. If we take a look at the application tray, you've got your standard side-scrolling application tray that is on most Samsung TouchWiz phones that we've seen before. Pretty standard and straightforward. 
T-Mobile and Samsung have included a lot of applications with this, but at least uh, there's some good things about these applications. Some of the things like the Be Bejeweled 2, 2 game, Doodle Jump game, and the Scrabble game are full versions. So they're not demos that you have to go purchase later on uh, to get the full thing. It is the full version of the app. There's no expiration date on it, no demo either. Uh, as you can see, if we page through the application tray, you've also got uh, T-Mobile's App Pack application. Um, you've got uh, All Share from Samsung for DLNA sharing. Drive Smart applications there. Of course, Facebook is included by default. You've got a file browser, T-Mobile's Highlight application, T-Mobile's Music Player, or Samsung's Music Player, excuse me. Um, the Scrabble, like mentioned before, T-Mobile ID, which is their new caller ID service. T-Mobile TV. Uh, T-Mobile Mall, Telnet GPS, Thinkery Office, quick video chat for T-Mobile phones, uh, a visual voicemail, T-Mobile's Wi-Fi calling feature. So there are quite a few applications pre-installed on here. If we take a look at the uh, messaging application, what you do have is uh, Samsung's typical TouchWiz uh, messaging UI, which has the uh, bubbled conversation view. So it's a little bit better looking than you would normally see on a standard Android device. By default, they've included the swipe keyboard. It's not the latest version of swipe, so it doesn't have some of the newer features like the inline uh, uh, word suggestions, uh, but it does work pretty well. It works about the same as we've seen swipe work before. If you're not a fan of it, you can switch over to the standard Samsung keyboard, which is a more traditional uh, tapping keyboard. Now, if we look at the email application, that Samsung has included. We've got some slight modifications here. You can access all of your folders and labels right from the top from these tabs, which is pretty cool. And it's got multiple message management here. If you happen to have multiple accounts uh, set up on the phone, you can access them all in one universal inbox if you would like. It does support formatted texting, so you can have different fonts and colors like so. And it does support uh, pinch to zoom too. Taking a look at the web browser, you can see it's a slightly modified version of the Android web browser. It does support things like uh, multiple windows and tabs. Excuse me. So we can go to Windows and we can add another window there. And let's just take a look at mobileburn.com. And right now we're connected to a pretty fast Wi-Fi network. And so here it's loaded up our home page here. As you can see, it does support Flash, but it is set by default to a uh, click-to-play or on-demand setting so that the Flash ads and, and embedded videos do not overwhelm the browser while you're using it. But if you select it, you can then uh, launch the Flash applications. And we can pinch to zoom like usual and we can play the embedded video. Hey guys, this is Dan Seifer from MobileBurn.com and right now we're checking out video capture on the Motorola Photon 4G for Spring. Photon 4G is capable of recording video at 720p resolution, 1280 by 720 There you go, playback isn't terrible on there. Along with your pinch to zoom feature, it also has double tap to zoom. So, and if we hit the menu button, go back to our windows, we can access the other windows that we already have opened. Taking a look at the camera application, it's a pretty familiar camera application that we've seen from many other uh, Samsung devices before. It does have uh, touch to focus, so you can tap to different zones to refocus the lens. There's no physical hardware uh, camera key on the exhibit, so you do have to use the shutter key to take the picture. And then you do have also have settings here that you can uh, switch between the front and rear camera. There you go, we got a, the VGA camera there. And you can switch to your camcorder as well. You've got a couple different shooting modes for there's still shots, your panorama stitch mode, and a continuous shooting mode. And you can also make some uh, exposure adjustments. The um, 
The volume keys do not zoom in with this, however, though, so you can't zoom in on uh, your photos before you take them. But picture capture is pretty quick. That one can be a little blurry. Once the lens has achieved autofocus. Definitely not the fastest that we've seen before, but usable enough for most circumstances. Then once you've uh, taken your picture, you can then pinch to zoom, to zoom in on your subject. And you can pan through your gallery there, and of course you've got different Android uh, settings here to share to different applications or set as a wallpaper or contact uh, image there. So there you have it. That's a pretty quick look at the Samsung Exhibit 4G for T-Mobile. Uh, this is a mid-range handset that does carry a lot of uh, high-end specifications that would have only would have been at the top of the uh, high-end uh, smartphone uh, pile just about a year ago. So it does perform very well. It's very fast and responsive. Screen's 3.5 inches, so it's a little bit smaller than what we've seen on some of the higher-end handsets. It might be 4.3 inches or even 4.5 inches today, but it certainly performs just as well. And thanks to the smaller size, the pixel resolution is very, very dense and crisp, so you get a great image on it. Uh, it's got a 1 gigahertz processor, so it's very quick, and it features a 3 megapixel camera that could be a little bit better, but for the price point that Samsung and T-Mobile are asking for this, you re we really don't have too much room to complain. Build quality is excellent on it as well, and it really feels nice in the hand. Uh, it's got a very good size for uh, a one-handed operation. You can pick up the Exhibit 4G from T-Mobile right now. It's selling for about $99.99 on a new two-year agreement. This is Dan Seifert from MobileBurn.com.